Yeah, I gotta ask you, man. You're here. You're helping provide a uh, your, your star your star pathway to this fundraiser here for this gym, man. Capital punishment. Um, Robert Chills, you guys finally moved on from the Oxnard, man. The Oxnard chapter of your life. You had a lot of great fights there, a lot of great training camps at the, at the gym in Oxnard. But what does that mean for you, man, to, to move, move on to that next phase, the next chapter? Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we, uh, we've been out here for a few years now. My brother now left the gym in Oxnard in the hands of Vegas. Um, you know, but uh, that doesn't mean that we're not from Oxnard. Everybody still remembers that we're from Oxnard. So he, um, he, he wanted to be focused on the gym here now. He had to leave Oxnard. He couldn't do both. But, um, you know, we're, we're happy. Yeah. Things are going fine. And here is, we have a great camp here. Great team. So it's, uh, it's a great thing here in Sacramento that we have. You've said it before that uh, Machenko and Linares are kind of doing what you already did a few years ago. Um, Lomachenko might have heard those comments, man. He actually went as far as saying that... Um, in your fight against Salido, he that he out, uh, the fight was stopped because you had suffered the broken nose, round, that he kind of felt that was that was a good time, that, that you kind of got away with that fight, you know, because of that. And he, he also stated that the punch, he named it a lucky punch, man, the one that you that you got Rocky Martinez with. What do you make of his comments? And, and, that's fine. Yeah. That's what he saw. I mean, the rest of the world maybe see something different, but that's what he saw. I mean, he he uh, he's a great fighter. He's got skills. Um, great success. You want to come up, buddy? Be, beating on, Martinez buddy. in great fashion after I already beat him. After he went, after Martinez went through wars with Salido, you know, he didn't get the Martinez that me and Salido fought. He got Martinez beat up a few fights after. You know, but that's okay. I mean, he still looked great at doing it. Um, in regards to me fighting Salido, I mean, I, I dropped him how many times? Four times. Like, totally dominated. And uh, he couldn't do anything. But like I said, he fought him at a different time too. He's an experience. Only second pro fight. Um, that's all right. I mean, we, we have our own opinions. Um, I hear he wants to move up to 35. So if he does move up to 35, I definitely take a fight with him. And what do you make of this European invasion, man? They're, they're starting to come deep, the European fighters. Back then, and now they're on HBO, they're on Showtime, but back then it was more of an American or a Mexican fighter. Now you have the European fighters, but they're headlining their main events in Showtime and HBO. That's, that's good, because it, it, it really makes the, the, the sport a world sport. It proves to everybody that it is a world sport. Um, and recently, in the last few years, they've been having a lot of fighters from, from Europe um, doing very great. So that makes, you know, for better fights, you know, um, more entertainment, you know, diversify the sport. So it's, 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 it's great.